It's the Winemakers on Sporting News, presented by Jack Daniels. NFC playoff action, Seattle a three-point favorite at Washington. Total on the game is 46. Brian Blessing with the man, Kenny White. Russell Wilson, was he the single biggest individual player adjustment you made this year power rating-wise? Ah, that's a good question. I'm, I'm not sure if it is or not, but I did. He's in the discussion. Definitely, he's oh, definitely in the discussion. I had to raise his power rating up. Um, at least three and a half points. Uh, I know I raised Andrew Luck up a little bit, but I don't think I raised him three and a half points. How about the Seahawks? It, you know, we talked about, hey, play Richie's line all year long. Wait to play them when they're home, but their act has played pretty well on the road too now. Yeah, well, I think they're three and five on the road this year. Uh, Better well, of late. Actually, no, they are. They're four and four on the road this year. And remember, they're 11 and five, but they should be 10 and six because they did lose to Green Bay on Monday night. So yes, they did. Um, it's a good football team, and, and they're getting better each week. Love Marshawn Lynch, what he's done, and uh, you know Russell Wilson, great year. What a great year! Two solid rookie quarterbacks. Are you a little surprised that Seattle is a three-point favorite on the road? I am not surprised. I thought they would be a favorite. Um, I made them two and a half, so really wasn't surprised the number would go to three in this situation. Their defense is the far better defense in this game. And RG3's knee is a huge concern to me. If he cannot be 100%, they're going to be in trouble. And you know what? Seattle got to rest guys last week. Washington had to play a must-win game against the Cowboys. That's a great point. Alfred Morris, another rookie. Yeah. Kenny's, one of Kenny's mantras, running backs, wide receivers, quote-unquote, are a dime a dozen. And here's a guy that was drafted in the bottom tier of the draft no one envisioned this from this, Alfred Morris. This is the first good running back that Mike Shanahan's ever had. Oh it was insert whoever right. <laughs> I'm kidding because Shanahan Other has had so Davis. many great running backs. No Shanahan every year he would come up with a new running back in Denver that nobody had ever heard of. Plug him in. It's the offensive line play that Shanahan teaches and he creates holes for running backs. This kid's a strong fast back and he gains a lot of yardage. He's going to have a real tough time this week, though, against Seattle's defensive front four. All right, you're not surprised. I'm a little surprised you're not surprised. But you're not surprised it's Seattle three on the road. Does it ever get off three? No, never, and it'll never go higher. It could go lower. We could see two and a halfs in this battle. Um, all the talk about RG3 leading up to the game, how healthy he is and how much truth there is to it will kind of lead the betting one way or another. Quick take on the total. Under. I think it's a defensive football game. I think it's a methodical game when you look at plays per game. Seattle's number 29 in the NFL at 58.8. Washington's number 22 at 60 plays per game. Neither team really wants to go fast. And in a playoff game with two rookie quarterbacks, they'll both be very conservative. It was the one total when you looked at it. It said, that looks a little high. Yeah, it looks a lot high, I think. For Kenny White, I'm Brian Blessing. We thank you for stopping by the winemakers on Sporting News.